of course, it's hard to generalize, but um, when I talk to the current generation and emerging generation of indigenous leaders, I'm really excited about their uh, awareness of the worldwide context, their alliances with indigenous peoples around the world, um, their sense of an indigenous identity beyond the United States. Um, and again, a, a, a more flexible approach to what it means to be an indigenous people. Um, concepts, for example, that may transcend um, some of the colonial and post-colonial models that here in the U.S. Um, sometimes, I think, have worked to deter the growth of tribes. I'm thinking especially about federal recognition and enrollment requirements. Um, internationally, the concept um, coming from the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, as well as the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, is about the right to belong to a group, to belong to a community. And when I talk to this generation of indigenous leaders, I think they're interested in fostering that sense of belonging in a way that's culturally meaningful. That's just one example. I think you could um, look to the environment and culture as other aspects where uh, this generation is willing to, I think, to dive deeper into its culture and to um, look more broadly out into the world for, for models to thrive.